indeed, and greetings upon you, beloved and holy friends. Thank you for sharing some space with me today. I was thinking that I've cried enough, but it seems we're going to cry a little bit more today. <sighs> cried all, uh, all of last night. This morning woke up not crying, fortunately. But that only lasted for a bit. I've had so many of you friends reach out and give your condolences, share your love. And it's been life changing, life saving. It's been incredible. Thank you. That's all I can say. Love you, Uncle Becky. Thank you for being here, friends. Infamous one, I love you, Jovan. When it rains, Aunt B, Yater, Kira, Nate, Cat. Thank you. Candace, thank you as well for being here, my friends. Full disclaimer, I ate two edibles today so far. I woke up, <laughs> went through not crying for a bit, then started crying for a bit. Then I was like, you know what? <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm freaking wrecked already. So I ate a big ass edible. And then I tried a bunch more. And I took a little bit of a meditation gap. I showered. I ate some more of an edible. And now I'm rolling a freaking joint that I'm going to set Kiki as the intention for. So if I'm incoherent, please forgive me. I am melting right now, as much as I can. <sighs> the gummies that make you forget how to cook food. <laughs> Doesn't make you forget how to cook food, you just find yourself forgetting what it is you're doing right now. Like, oh yeah, I have to cut carrots, of course. <laughs> Cuts carrots. Why haven't I put, an <laughs> put the pot on yet? And it goes through the fires. <laughs> Thank you, Ninja. Thank you, my friend, Naomi and Crystal. <sighs> Ninja Banana is here as well. Thank you, my friends. Thank you so much. You're in my thoughts as well. Like, you friends have been amazing. Like, I, I, I cannot even <laughs> start to thank you as much as I'm supposed to. Just thank you, friends. I've cried more in the last week than I have in the last decade. Same. I've cried, I've cried more in this year than I've cried in my entire existence as well, Uncle Becky. It's been... It's been intense. Oof, it's been very intense. And... Like, this is a conversation I had with Sinsane as well. Sinsane watched it afterwards with the perspective of knowing what was going to happen and he told me that like as he was watching it knowing what would happen he just like saw over and over again how it was like we were being prepared <laughs> through the, the friend that, that decided to show up Jerome <sighs> to talk about the things we needed to talk about to get to perspectives and understanding that we needed to get to and then i experienced something that is so in sync with that and yet so painful i can't I'm just i'm so grateful to have you friends the amount of love you've sent me like this <laughs> last night <laughs> like i've been i've been really <laughs> just melting as much as i can i went for one of those you stack a bong like three times in a row and you just like go, you go, you go deeper and deeper. And after I did that, I sat down and I started doing some breathwork meditation on Toasty's request. And I, I like, as I started to do these breathwork exercises, I started to feel 
more and more so into this feeling of just this overwhelming love and calmness. And I could feel as, as if there is this, <laughs> how do you explain it, pressure almost being produced within this, this mental space of like love being sent. And I, I found myself in there and I felt so calm and so understanding. And from that space, from that calm understanding and feeling came the message that Kiki is okay. You know, yesterday isn't like title was <laughs> what if things <laughs> what if things are gonna be okay <sighs> and then kiki passes away <sighs> it can be so easy to get instantly caught in that <sighs> seeing the potential for myself to get stuck in it not only caught in it these feelings I'm feeling and the devastation of knowing like I was thinking to myself last night like the the one thing that would make this pain feel a little bit better right now is if Kiki was to run out of the house and come and greet me now and do her little leg snakes if you will where she runs between your legs worming herself through the uh, the way that she would <laughs> I would do this thing with her where I would keep my legs close to one another to keep like a small gap which she couldn't fit her head through and then I would you know <laughs> play with my fingers and she would try to bite them and she would like purposefully get stuck in my legs you know trying to squirm to try and bite my hand <sighs> since I said something about uh, how grief can be seen as something that is selfish as well because a lot of the grief that you are experiencing comes from not so much the, the loss of the person or the, the animal but from the, the the potential that is lost again in this selfish way this ability for this being to create for you an experience that is of love in the way that Kiki did and to want that you know regardless continually and feeling into that having been lost where in Kiki's perspective in her life this could be exactly the step she needed to take maybe she came here for as long as she did because she knew she would get what she needed before she needed to move on the feelings of it being my fault of if i held on to her you know when she was here if i got her to sit on my lap maybe she wouldn't have been in the in the path of fire your mind tries to like grasp at these possible explanations ways of feeling about it ways of trying to escape all we can do is be here, my friends. Thank you for being here with me. <sighs> Kira, I think we're all putting Kiki in our intentions. Definitely, my friend. For sure. So, bro? I'm okay, my friend. What's the strain? It is the lavendery strain, my friend. Sending you love. Thank you, Ethereum. <sighs> Mariah. You have such a strong heart. Yeah, I've been pushing as much healing love towards you as I can. I've been feeling it, friends. Genuinely, I've genuinely been feeling it. I wouldn't know where I would be if it wasn't for you. Uh, I saw it afterwards um, as well, and I could see that. It was It's even more devastating watching it like that when it rains. It's, it's like there's a cosmic joke almost. There goes my little paper. <sighs> Today's intention is kicky.
weird how grief can affect your your strength. I felt exhausted brushing my teeth. I was like, this is this sucks. My arm doesn't want to stay up. Feels like a piece of me died with her. And yet, there is still so much of her life left in me as well. And what I'm choosing to align myself with is what I'm going to be aligned with. <sighs> we loved you so much, Kiki. We still do. you as well my friend cannot place this accent where are you from i'm from south africa my friend south africa is right thank you what are we crying about my puppy passed away yesterday my friend she was not even an adult she still had so much life left to live i hope jerome knows what a gift they gave i'm sure he did i'm not sure he did but on a cosmic level he did we are grateful for you. I'm grateful for you as well, Yader. Looks like some garbage as we Lamao. Lamao. So go figure. Most of the times I can't place an Anglo accent. It's normally South Africa. We do have a spicy one. A terrible accident. That is why, my friend. Unfortunately. Thank you so much for the love you're sending, my friend. Melita. I was just on YouTube and released a few tears with you as you found out. Things will be okay, her love lives on, you're so right. There were so many messages yesterday. It came through as well. Two of the messages that came through in the stream was that pain and loss is proof of love and life. And the second one was life has to end, love doesn't. It is devastating nonetheless. <sighs> Thank you, check yourself. It gets easier. I hope so. Thank you, Toasty. I'm here with you as well, my friend. Felt horrible for saying what I said in retrospect. I was low and I said, what if it was not going to be okay, Mel? What about that? I'm sorry for this, yeah, saying that. No, of course not, infamous one. Of course not. You don't have to apologize. I feel, if anything, I've just gained the perspective that within the mindset of infinite sets and sets contained within inside of, well, infinite sets contain, contained in sets of infinities larger than itself, I think it's the same thing for things being okay. With inside of the set of Kiki, the infinity that was Kiki, and the, ins and the set that contains me, and then the infinite set that contains both of us collectively, I'm not okay. Things are not okay. But in the collective set that goes beyond just us, that goes into something much larger than just us, things will be okay. And in aligning myself with that and feeling into that, I free myself as well <sighs> to gain some calm. You don't have to apologize, Infamous One. These things are a part of nature. We're supposed to be able to deal with both of them. I hope this joint helps. I bet Kiki was an awesome dog. She was the best, my friend. She was the best. I can say that with, with certainty. She was the best. Your fellow person really feels for you. I'm so sorry. Thank you, my friend. Ram Dass on death is something to visit, my friend. Kiki experienced way more joy than pain in her life. You're perfectly right, Gator. She experienced 99.99% joy, love, uh, light, 
And then there was a second of a fear of why does this happen? Of oh no, of oh I made a mistake, of whatever could have possibly gone through her head during her last moments. And I believe she went on to <clears throat> a better place. I do believe that. Maybe she <laughs> is doing a speed run. I'm stuck on level human. It's gonna take me like X amount of years. We'll see how long I stay alive. <laughs> For me to learn. Like it's so it's so so devastating just because of how young she was as well. Like we have Bingo, who is blind and deaf. He's fifteen years old. He's just been coming along all the way. He stayed out of the the way of cars. And my dad said something yesterday. It was like, why can't it be bingo instead? And I was like, it's so it's so weird we can say stuff like that. We try and say stuff like that. And I thought instead of just that, like transferring ownership over right like of the death instead like you bingo could opt in like oh kiki you don't have to die i'm like 15 years old i'll take this death from you you live on for 15 more years dude but unfortunately it doesn't work like that and it's not for us to wish that things were in one way or another because then we're always going to be away from where we're supposed to be right now within the acceptance of it as difficult as it may be. What happened to the puppy? My brother backed out of the driveway and backed over her, unfortunately, my friend. When they pass away, it leaves such a void. The sadness of it makes it so painful that we are here with you. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, my friend. We've loved. Kiki is doing better than all of us, buddy. Yeah, I can't change our fate, but it doesn't make it any better or easier. You're right, Uncle Becky. Thank you, my friend. You're very right. Kiki knew how much you loved her. You gave her an amazing life, and she loved you as much as you. <laughs> like these messages are wrecking me a little bit. I'm gonna smoke this Kiki joint. It is tough, my friend. I said to my mom, I can't imagine what it must us feel like to lose a child. You know, having having thought of Kiki as like a a child of my own and it brought up this perspective inside of myself where I was like I wouldn't want to have kids because if if this pain is even a potential you know how like if this pain is a potential with losing Kiki how much more potential of pain is there to be had with a, with a child and it's so difficult to try and rationalize a standpoint between limiting ourselves to not love out of the fear of the loss and then being able to continue through the love despite of the loss. It is it's such a paradox. The ability for us to have, you know, six dogs throughout our lifetimes as well watch them as babies grow up into adults into an elder state into a final passing and being able to do that six times over in a single human life is such a strange perspective to have and i think it's because this perspective is something we can expect like we we expect things to die and the weird thing as well, the the hard thing is like with, with grandma and grandpa's passing this year as well, 
all of that hit me at the same time with with this. And what hurt even more than that is the fact that I felt it hurt more than Kiki, the, the, the fact that Kiki passed away. And I was asking myself again, like, why is that? And again, it came to this, this perspective, you know, of being able to see something grow up, age, and then pass away as it was supposed to be. And not having the honor of seeing her grow up, not fully. I think that's the part that's devastating. Her loss in the grand scheme of things is inevitable, as it is with everything. Being able to have spent all of those loving moments with her is what, what was most important. Holding on just to the loss isn't going to be healthy or helpful either. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for the help on my friend. She got run over while he was streaming. That's right on me. So much love for her. You know you can't take the blame. I also know that I want to, my friend. To Kiki. And what comes next. I'll stay up, my friend. I'll stay up. Every single situation is an opportunity for us to extend ourselves in love. If we can keep doing that, this world will become a better place. Thank you for the help of my friend. Unfortunately, death is just as important in the learning and growing for an individual as life. Knowing the pup gave more love in her short time on earth than most people give their entire life. We are here and we love you so much, brother. I love you, Charles. Thank you, my friend, for saying that. You are right. I hope you find peace. <laughs> and let the what ifs go. I'm trying to, Yater. I'm trying to do that, my friend. I'm definitely rationalizing as much as I can to get myself to that point. You gave her everything. She needed, darling, brother. <sighs> let those what ifs come and go. It's normal. It's like clouds. Sometimes the clouds are dark. Sometimes there are no clouds whatsoever. It doesn't change the space. The space stays. The clouds come and go. It's the same for thoughts. She's going to be okay. She's going to be fine. Also your pets so much. Never enough for the win. Love for the wood. Just because her body is gone doesn't mean her love is gone. It will be here now and forever. Love always persists. You're completely right, my friend. I know. Can't stop a Jack Russell from acting like a Jack Russell. They are wonderful little dogs, but they are fearless. Unfortunately, that is the truth, my friend. I can see Kiki's energy in the little things, like another puppy going crazy with tail wags and going into <laughs> getting into mischief. Yeah, Kiki's energy. She's just like now a little jester, a little doggy jester, whispering sweet nothings into the other dog's ears. Like maybe, just maybe, you wanna you wanna dig that hole in the grass. How about it? <laughs> it's like no, my, my owner is gonna be angry at me if I dig holes in the grass. And I'm like, but. But it's gonna be fun! It's gonna be fun, how about it? <laughs> Kiki egging dogs on. All over the world. Hopefully, the more tail wags than digging holes in the dirt, though. The cosmos just plays fucking jokes on us, doesn't it? Sometimes it does, my friend. We just have to learn how to, to laugh, I guess. This, my Jack is crazy. <laughs> We've got you. Still always. Love to you, Kira. Thank you so much. Even a roller coaster. Lots of loss this week. So much loss. Love is true. Thank you, Yater. <sighs> Thank you so much. You surround yourself with all the best photos you have of Kiki and remember her that way. Happy, lively, lovely, and forever a young pup. She is. She is going to be forever a young pup. She was immortalized on these streams. I think on the scale of how much screen time the average dog gets, Kiki is probably up there in the top 100s, so she's been immortalized. Her love will transcend through time and space, you know, like quite literally, think about this. 
10,000 years in the future, someone happens upon the Meltmore streams, happens upon the first, like, when, when did we get Kiki? Was it like in the day hundreds, day 120s? Like happens into that section of the stream, gets to see Kiki being all loving, you know, giving me face licks, trying to play with stuff, and that being able to bring joy and, you know, happiness to that person watching that. And quite literally in that way, her love is transcending time and space as well. Kiki lives on through us. And, like I've said this, not only that, but if Kiki was still here, Kiki would still be loving. You know, Kiki would still be running around, you know, metaf metaphysically smiling about things, having a good time, trying to bring love into this world. And we are still here. So why would we do anything other than that? <sighs> we still get to bring love. Melt, how are the other dogs doing? Can they sense anything wrong? I think Eva sense the most. Bingo, I think is a little bit, you know, too out of it to know. Yudi, it seems as if he knows. Eva, I'm pretty sure, knows. Like, me and her spent time last night with Kiki's body as well, before we, we buried her. <sighs> me and her spent time, you know, in the spot where she got run over. She was, like, smelling the blood and stuff. And then this morning, when I came out of my room, I saw her, like, laying on the couch. I just, like, I broke down, and I was, like, sitting on the floor, just had my head against hers, just telling her I'm just sorry as well. And I'm so sorry. I don't think they know as much as we know. Maybe that frees them in their own way as well. I wouldn't want her to know in the way that I know. <laughs> Sending you hugs and prayers as well. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing that, my friend. <sighs> there goes my little paper. <laughs> yeah. I was, I pulled out the little rolling paper and then the wind was like, thank you. <laughs> I'll have that. <laughs> Sending your lightness, my friend. Thank you. I literally felt it, Jader, just as you, <laughs> just as it came, my friend. Thank you. We still do love Kiki. Yes, we do. You're fortunate you have many streams to go back and see the joy that brought both you and us. I am so grateful for that indeed. You're completely right, Nate. <clears throat> it sure was on B. Uh, I think I've sent you more hugs and yellow hearts in five days than I have in the months we've known each other. That's beautiful to me, you know, like regardless, or actually I should say despite rather, despite the amount of pain we're going through, love is true. It's literally resounding in the universe right now. It's almost so loud it's giving me a headache. Life has to end, love doesn't, infamous one. Thank you for that, my friend. Again, emotions are full of energy. <sighs> they can really influence the physical in exhausting ways, but in other ways as well. That is true. That is true. You can just you can be just as invigorated by positive emotions as you can be debilitated by negative ones. <sighs> I don't think I'm in a negative state of mind, though. I feel the way I'm feeling is supposed to be the way I'm feeling, like it is natural. And I am in pain. Knowing all of the things I do, I am still in pain. But we will find love, you know, despite the pain. And that is what we're going to continue doing. Mm -hmm. Mm, mush mush and the man in the heart forever mush mush yeah like she was the creator of asha mush 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 now that that saying is going to be immortalized in a way that a select few people will ever know because that's something that i said to her when i would give her some cuddles 
That makes me happy, actually. Yeah, she deserves that. Thank you for the gold, Ethereum heart. I appreciate it. Love for you, your family, and our gold kitty. Thank you so much. She was always there. You could hear <laughs> her just out of frame. Hey, man. Sorry to hear. Look at the support you have on here. It is mind-blowing, Paul. Thank you for sharing your support with me as well. How did she pass? Unfortunately, my brother backed over her, my friend, in the driveway. Thank you for the hugs. I appreciate that, Candace. Having a pet is a blessing and a curse. The love they give is one of the best gifts we can have, but the pain of the loss is always devastating. It's a, it's a very weird <sighs> juxtaposition that life kind of puts in front of us. It's like, okay, you know, you want this little being that's going to love you more than anything in the whole entire universe? Gonna have to deal with losing her one day as well? Are you willing to do that? <laughs> Are you willing to do it again? I'm feeling like we don't deserve any more dogs. <sighs> Last year, one of our pups got run over as well by someone else that came to visit us. Kiko <sighs> passed away fighting a snake on the farm. Now Kiki passes away as well, losing three dogs in a year's time. Like it feels, it feels like we're bad dog owners. Feels like we're negligent. Feels like we're insensitive to it. Feels like we don't deserve, you know, any more chances. Unworthiness. We were talking about unworthiness yesterday, Candace. It's difficult. Oh. Can we celebrate our favorite memories of Kiki? She always brought so much energy and joy to us all. She did. She did. We, Of course we can celebrate. We should celebrate. The rooster agrees. Uh, when she took off and ate this the other way. Death is the one natural part of life that I haven't experienced yet, and it scares the shit out of me. A riot the guy. At the start of this year, I have also not experienced death. Technically, I experienced the death of Kiko and Clara, which was the first death I've ever experienced. And then in May, I experienced the death of my grandfather on the 2nd of September, the loss of my grandmother. And yesterday, now the loss of Kiki as well. And it's been more death in the last year than I have even, you know, known as a possibility for the rest of my life before that. And it is something that was scaring the shit out of me as well, my friend. And it still does. It scares me even more the fact that I'm going to have to one day deal with the loss of my parents. I'm not even gonna say, I hope I, okay, I like, I just went so hard both ways accidentally. The first thing I wanted to say is I'm not gonna say having to deal with the loss of my siblings. And then instead of saying that I wanted to go completely hard in the other direction by saying I would wanna die before they do. <laughs> and I was like, dude, you can't say either of those things. Just be here now. <sighs> Those things will come, and we will be there when they come. But we're not there now, so we can be here now. Right? Lovingly, as much as we can. Mariah says, You stayed on my mind all day and night. I had some pretty frightening dreams to follow, woke up in a panic from them. But the best part of all the scary news of my dream is the very last thing I can remember is the phoenix burns so it can be reborn. That's beautiful, Mariah. Thank you so much for saying that, my friend. Remember when she stole his grinder a few times? <laughs> just had like the grinder in her mouth. She can't chew it. She just like knows I'm gonna pick this thing up. I'm gonna carry it there. And she had this little spot 
where she would take all of her toys like she would you know literally get like a piece of cactus leaf and then she just carries this cactus leaf to this pot and then she chews another bit and she's like okay i'm over the cactus leaf and then she goes and she gets a stick d drags the stick there chews the little bird <laughs> does something else she had such beautiful mannerisms and then she'd run into milk and then just keep running like it was a trap <laughs> <laughs> mm. I love that uh, she was digging all of the fruit relentlessly yeah I remember that as well making noise I'm like hey stop it stop doing that stop it. <laughs> she's like here's me like looks over to my direction and while I'm like calling her out it's like yeah and I'm not gonna stop unless you make me <laughs> and shoot up the lighter. Oh, and her dust clouds. Oh, remember when she bit Mel's nose? <laughs> oh yeah, and it actually bled a little bit. I do remember that as well. Oh, thank you, Shova, so oh, so much for reminding me of all of this stuff. My favorite Kiki moment was the very first time I saw her and learned her name. Uh, it was my nieces and nephews called me. I loved her instantly for her spirit and shenanigans. Uh, shenanigan loving spirit. It was very much akin to yours as well, my friend. Kira Kiki. Oh, she loved that light. <laughs> you know, in honor of her. These memories are so beautiful. Thank you, friends. I feel... I feel better. Mm. My son wept over Kiki. I'm sorry to hear that, my friend. Mel, what's up? How's life? Cryo, you've caught us at a you've caught us at the pinnacle of feeling. So I think if I gave you an answer, I would have some bias. Life is still beautiful. Life is still love. Remember all the yelps from our dear Mel as Kiki would nip him. I love those. For your friends giving me advice as to how to, to get her better so she doesn't munch me anymore. And she did. She learned how to not munch me anymore. I would say, ha, ha, and she would like give me a lick or two. Like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. She transcended time and space of her love. Yes, she did. She had really developed more chilled out energy lately. She would stay still in Mel's lab more. Uh, and it was lovely to see her grow into this mellowish dark. It was so nice. She, she was not like it was. Uh, it was a spectrum like she was mellow at some points and then still her crazy self at other point. Crazy self at other points. So she still had the the rope pull sessions and the ball throwing sessions. She just kind of learned when those energies was appropriate and when not, if you will. And it was beautiful for me to see her learn these things, like watching her little consciousness expand as well. So close, many shed tears over Kiki. I feel like this is something that is devastating to say as, as well, that like Kiki had tears shed for her more than a lot of people have tears shed for them. And oof, that's just, that's amazing to me as well. With the amount of love we can share with one another, for one another. <clears throat> I look forward to continuing this journey with your friends. Oh goodness. <sighs> I was gonna look in 50 years. How much will we have experienced? How much will we have grown? Meltmore. Yes, mammy. Love. Sweet witness. Meltmore. You know love hugs. The squeeze one makes you feel more flexible with the shoulder blades. And <laughs> those ones. Thank you, Slav. That sounds amazing. I would love a hug like that right now. But still, there was plenty of moments Mel would say, ha ha, Iki, don't do that. Yeah, I had to. You know, there were some things you can't do. Actually, you want to see one thing she did? <laughs> Can you see it? I think you would be able to. Big ass hole in my pant. Pants. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's 
What makes it a pants? Is it the the two legs? This thing doesn't really have legs. It has like kind of legs. So I'll call it a pant instead. A melt pant. Yes. So like she she put a little hole in that one as well. And you know, you can't do that. You can't do that. Can't do these things. Can't you know destroy stuff, Kiki. So so her ass was also necessary. <clears throat> Fortunately she did learn. I feel so much regret that this is the way we have been brought to <laughs> brought back together lately. I had been feeling like I needed to reconnect with Mel and the whole community. This is not how I wanted it to happen, but I am here. I am so sorry as well. It's not how it was supposed to happen. You're right, Naomi. But it happening is something we can still all be grateful for, right? It's hard, maybe, but it is. Except for the dirt rolling, chicken chasing, and dead frog eating. But the rest of the time, yes. <laughs> uh, I don't have many memories of Kiki, but she always... Uh, gave me a spark of joy whenever she wormed her little nose into the stream. Just seeing her made me shine a little brighter. Made me shine a little brighter as well, Ethereum. We have to continue that light. <sighs> continue her light. Your father is hurting. I'm sorry he said that. It's okay. Like, my father doesn't believe in... You know, dogs having souls and stuff. And when I asked him why not, he was like, because it, it doesn't say so in the Bible. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I believe Kiki has a soul. I believe her soul is probably on the next level. Like she's, she has one up on me now. She's looking down on me with a place of power. Like she can sprinkle some shenanigans in my life now as well. I'm probably gonna get a ha -ha or two. I'm sorry, Kiki. I'm sorry I said ha, -ha. <laughs> Don't say ha, -ha to me. <laughs> oh, she's she's living in love nonetheless. I loved when she would be so zippy at the background, running around with pretty Eva. And all of a sudden, she would gas out, zoom to a halting stop at Lord's lab. You know, she's like, nah, <laughs> enough. I need to rest. She was, uh, she is. Such a beautiful little soul. <sighs> like that was that was one of the things that devastated me this morning as well, looking at Eva. Jovan. Just knowing that she doesn't have that playmate anymore. That was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Hey Lane, thank you for joining us, my friend. Oh, I'm so far behind on comments. I'm so sorry, friends. Just in case there's a place they meet up, I asked my aunt to take care of Kiki. Thank you, Kira. Kiki had a dance off with us one sunrise. Isn't the thing about she's super cute? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry your brother has to carry that burden. Is he okay? I hope so, my friend. I hope so. <sighs> Yesterday, after the stream finished, I I asked my dad if we if we can go and bury her, and. He's like, yeah, and I said, uh, maybe I should go and call the rest of the family members as well. Called everybody, and we walked together to, to go and bury her close to the, the nut trees. And of everybody who was audibly crying at that moment, it was Vessel, the brother who drove over the puppy. He was crying at that moment. And I walked up to him and I wanted to give him a hug. And at first he told me he doesn't want to hug right now. And I I basically just told him, please. I'm like, but possibly. Brother, please. And we hugged for like 30 seconds. And during this hug, I told him that I know that this wasn't something he was trying to do, it wasn't intentional. And that he now has to both carry the burden of knowing it was his fault. And also the burden of the loss of this, this beautiful little being. And how difficult that must be for him as well. And during this hug it just felt like both of our hearts 
<sighs> opened a little bit more towards not only ourselves but towards one another as well. I hope he's okay. I'll talk to him about it a bit today. I like to think this is the Weigel, the vigil for your beloved Kiki, much, much, much. I think so as well. Definitely, definitely, mate. I think it is my friend. Oh, yes. It is, as you said, it's not necessarily how I wanted to come back, but I felt I needed to be here. I miss everyone. We miss you, Naomi. I actually have been talking about you a bit on the stream. Like, I was going through talking about how proud I am of you, friends, and how much I've seen you grow and you were someone that came up to my mind you know almost first we're proud of you my friend we love you so much the fear of those thoughts are a tiny fraction of the joy children bring when they are around i can imagine again we can't live in fear we cannot live in fear living in fear of loss is going to guarantee the loss of that opportunity of anything and maybe that can be even more devastating right think about that we think of at least in the way i'm trying to analyze it i think of loss and the pain that is associated with this loss from a perspective of potential loss so if i'm now going to live in a place of fear of that loss and then i never put myself in the position to experience that loss and I go through my entire life <clears throat> and I realize in doing so, I have now lost the potential for all of this love. I would then realize that that is like 10,000 deaths of loved ones because now it's the death of the possibility of love. And that would be more devastating than anything. And through this rationale, <sighs> love is true. Love is the only thing that's true. We cannot live in fear. Hmm. Me giving myself pep talks. <laughs> hey, you got this, dude. Damn it, I don't got this. No, you, you've you totally got this. I'm fucking so high, I don't know what I'm saying. You got this, dude. <laughs> we got this, friends. We got this. Uh, I got the bad news melt. Much power and strength. To you, my friend. I'll keep this in my thoughts. Wish I could hang out longer. See you around as well, ciao. Sending you love, my friend. We got so we get so attached to our pets. They are so innocent and so loving, and they love so unconditionally. Sometimes I think we don't deserve them. I shared my thinking of that as well now, Mammy. And I think that is it's just fear. We're not unworthy of that. We deserve that as well. <sighs> Love is true. Love is true, my friend. Don't want to wreck you, melt more. Just want to hug you super hard. I know. I know it's love. My message was a little bit concerning. I, I, I understand. I see that. It was still said from a place of love. Basically this. <laughs> uh, I've started... I've stared at death several times. And I believe it will be peaceful. Death isn't the bringer, just completes the, the transaction of life. Death just carries you on. I agree completely. And I think it's in flux as well. You know, death and life, death and birth is two sides of the same coin. When one side of the coin <sighs> is displayed, I'm trying to think of a spinning coin maybe. You know, then there's life, and there's death, and there's life, and there's death. The cycle continues. It has to. We don't uh, set everyone in their head. <laughs> Much love, Melty. My heart goes out to you. Thank you, Sri Racha. Sending you love as well, my friend. Dude, Melt, I should. Thank you, Omari. Mm. Kiki. Kiki means machine in Japanese. Shh. 
she was so much more than just a machine. She was a machine as well. <laughs> when a light is diminished in this world, it goes to another place and, do and joins a brighter light. That place is within. The sadness is the greatest form of love, and the love you have is the light that helps us carry on. Mm, Ninja Banana, or Banana420. Thank you, my friend, for saying that. That's perfect. That's beautiful. We'll be here for whatever comes next. We will. I love you, man. I'm so sorry about yesterday. I was trying to search for your account so I could reach out. You're here, oh Marie. Thank you, my friend. You've reached out. I appreciate your condolences. I have no clue. You have no clue who I am, but you helped me a lot in these last couple of months. Last of, last of weeks. Oh, Marie. <sighs> I want to, you know, be my old hippie self, claim that I do know you, in fact, <laughs> we've met millions, billions of times before, but thank you my friend, I'm so happy that we can help, you help us as well, even if you're not participating, you're still sending this positive energy within, into the universe, contributing to that which is good, he's got a way about that. <laughs> miss you as well he sure does uh, I wish I could stay for the whole stream but I will have to leave about a half an hour in about a half an hour for work I'm so glad I could be here for you today so thank you Naomi for being here as well I really do appreciate it the light don't lie you're here and that's what matters when you're not present you're in our hearts love you Naomi miss seeing you cookings mm, there we go so I agree as well, you know, the fact, for me at least, stands that no matter where it is we are out there in life, we're still these infinite beings with these infinite capacities to bring love into the world. And whether or not we're in stream or not, that love is still being brought. It's ceaseless. So I take solace in that knowing. You don't have to apologize at all, my friend. You're appreciated when you're here. And when you're not here, you are in the here that we all always are, nonetheless. Right. Uh, <laughs> mm. Love is true, yes. Uh, <laughs> little Jester, <laughs> Kiki Jester, right I'm happy you like it as well. Thank you, Melita. Oh, thank you. But my life has been falling a bit feeling a bit odd and even though I have still been cooking up a storm I don't even have photos to share that's completely okay you don't have to share photos my friend we just want you to know we're thinking about you we're sending you good vibes uh, you let us you let us watch Kiki grow you let yourself watch Kiki grow if it wasn't for you watching Kiki grow then you wouldn't have seen Kiki grow then we wouldn't have been able to feel this deeply and fell fall this deeply in love with this little being so thank you my friends thank you so much as well sven is wagging her tail so much today that she is knocking things off the tall ledges i'm laughing and appreciating her derpy moments when she is a puppy while she is a puppy that sounds amazing when it rains love her to bits and then put her back together and love her to bits again stay strong and positive please you have no idea what you mean to us the ones you mean the most to are usually quiet about it oh marie you mean so much to me my friend it's for you who are quiet especially that i show up every single day <sighs> thank you thank you for saying these things genuinely friend i thought for a second you dedicated this stream to me angry swan oh no sorry to hear that it's dedicated to you as well, my friend. It's dedicated to every single one of us. If you're here for it, then it's dedicated to you. You're the one that has that power. East Coast Rabbit, thank you for sharing the space with us, my friend. Oh, SDM, my heart aches for you. It is so precious thing to spend time with our loved ones after their spirit has left, as hard as it is. I think it is even a, an essential thing that we need to start doing as well. And it's something I would have never considered if it wasn't for myself reading the five invitations where the dude basically is running a hospice so he spends a lot of time with the dying and the dead and one of the things he talks about a lot is being able to spend time with the dead afterwards being able to lay hands on the dead body 
being able to genuinely be present with the understanding, with the feeling, with the, the passing. And it's, as you say, Kira, it can be very difficult, but I felt and I feel still as if there was a lot of relief coming from being able to pet her one last time. It was like me putting my hand on her, giving her like a, a gentle pet and just saying thank you for all of the love and all of the life that she's brought into our lives before burying her. It was, it was very significant. Also, please send our love to your brother. I'm sure the guilt he is experiencing is overwhelming. Um, I can't even imagine, Charles. It hurts me so much as well. Just, just thinking about it. That's why I had to reach out to him in the way that I did as well. But remember what you said when you were reading the book yesterday. The love you felt for her in her last moments with you. She took that energy with her. It was grief, but it was love. You're completely right, Mammy. Yes, sending love to your entire family. Thank you so much, Naomi. <clears throat> Charles, so true. It's okay to have feelings. It's a completely okay to have feelings. I think we're very much pro-feelings in these streams. <laughs> Sometimes they, they can hide away, but we definitely don't shy away from them. We don't pretend they don't exist, and we don't pretend others' feelings don't exist. Couldn't even imagine... Please do send them our love. I will, my friends. Thank you so much. Let me hit that. Okay, stoner man. I'm, I'm taking this puff for you. Instead of inhaling it into my own lungs, there is going to be a dimension that opens basically in my <laughs> air pipe in which it's going to clip through this dimension into your lungs. So, and then as you're exhaling it, it clips through that dimensional line again. So I can exhale it. How about that? <laughs> Taking a puff for you, Stoner Pack. <laughs> trying to distract myself. Trying to dedicate a bunch of resources to thinking. Mm. Mm, it's working. There it comes again. Man, it has to travel a while. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it, Fred. Mush gag, unite! Are we gonna be the mush? Melt mush? <laughs> I do like it. Uh, the melt bunch. The melt mush. Uh, maybe, maybe, who knows? Melt gag, unite! Every mush so filled with love. <laughs> mush gang forever, mush forever. Mm. I need to go, take care, please. And though I'm, I'm going to say this one last time, Mel, you mean a lot to people. You help us get through tough times and I see the positive in things and see the positive in things. There's many people that aren't reaching out that love you too. Thank you, Amari. Know that I appreciate you. Every single one of you, if you reach out or not. In the contrary, it, this stream just like if you're here like you're sending a mental a mental message to me right now sending me positive energy because it like i'm you know what i'm gonna speak my truth damn it <laughs> it can also hurt to say thank you you know even though like someone's condolences is appreciated and is felt it can also hurt to try and articulate in a way that you're going to reply, right? Like as you're trying to articulate, you're feeling through all of these things again. So it's a potential vector for pain again. Not saying the direct reaching out is a, is a causal to pain. I'm just saying it can be. So you friends who have reached out, don't think you've caused me any pain whatsoever. It's only this overwhelming amount of love that I've received and that I've seen from you friends. And again, if, if I ever had doubt, if I ever would doubt that love is true, 
it would be in a moment like that and, and losing a young puppy like that and then as this doubt like co comes as this overflowing mass over myself all of you friends are just like nope <laughs> love is true love is true love is true love is true it's like oh you did get this very significant piece of evidence that love isn't true but how about all of this like and you just <laughs> you get like oh look this is you know a one by one by one block of love isn't true look at how significant it is it's as big as you and then next to it there is 100 by 100 block of love is true <laughs> it's like no don't look at that <laughs> Look at this, look at how significant, and it's just very loud. It bumps up and down, it's kind of volatile, and then it's just a stable, all present, all feeling, all accepting, warm, love's true. So thank you, friends. I appreciate you having reached out. You have proved to me love is true. Uh, we all the much to Kiki Soul. I'm saying all of the much to Kiki Soul facts. Much, much, much. Uh, I spent all day with my pup yesterday. I bathed her and trimmed her nails and brushed her and cuddled with her, crying ugly tears. Love is true, brother. Love who you have while you can. Kiki was so, so loved. Thank you, Toasty. That's beautiful, my friend. You even, you even said uh, in the depths of despair that you weren't uh, pinning blame on your brother because that is just anger and not a true reflection of you. Even in the horrible moments, you were still your good self, <laughs> forgiving and so understanding. I see myself in him. I see so much of myself in him. Mammy. And knowing just how much pain he must be going through. How hurtful would it be if he feels he's going to lose a brother as a result of something like that as well? Lose a friend. Lose someone who cares about him. It's only going to beget more pain. Love is true, mommy. Thank you, my friend. She is forever my Masha. <laughs> For all of us, Infamous One, you always deserve love. We do, Mariah. You're right. No, Mel, you deserve love. <laughs> Don't think like that. Thank you, Avery. I appreciate you, friends. Uh, you can do that to yourself, man. I know, Stoner. <sighs> I spent a lot of time with my cat last night. He sat on my lap and I kept telling him he was the best boy. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds blessed, mammy. I'm sure he was feeling very like I'm imagining him with like a like a strut, like a hmm, yes, yes, I am, I am the best boy. <laughs> mm. I was telling Uncle Becky, I loved when he would do that. <laughs> uh, I have to get going, guys. Sending love your way, Melton. Oh, thank you, Lane. <sighs> Sending you love as well, my friend. Bro, you have nothing to do with the snake or the other people hitting your pup. It's not your fault. I know, Amari. It's just... It's a part of me that wants to take responsibility for all of it, my friend. You are worthy. <laughs> Think of bingo. Yeah, I do. And, like, I was giving him... Like, after my dad said that as well, uh, when I came back, because he said it on the way to burying Kiki... And I came back and I just gave Bingo, you know, a bunch of pets as well. I was like, hey, dude, <laughs> that's not true, man. <laughs> you deserve to live as well, dude. You deserve to live as long as you, you're supposed to. Because this is the experience that you were supposed to have. And Bingo, like, I wouldn't say that he is suffering. You know, I'd like, if he was suffering, we would have to take him to a vet. But he is confused a lot of the time. Like, he'll stand in the way. He'll... You, you, he doesn't feel the ground moving as well, I don't think. Because you'll walk, you know, with a theory. And if he doesn't know, and if you don't look, if you have, like, something in your hands, you'll just, like, step on him or trip over him. And it's, it's kind of... It's kind of hectic sometimes. But he's still experiencing a life experience. And Kiki got to experience an entire life experience. Like, we think of things in a linear fashion 
in a way that is, you know, oh, X amount of years spent, X amount of experience gained. But what if it basically collapses into a single data point, if you will, as soon as you die? So how long you lived is completely irrelevant as to how well you lived right now in this moment as a constant, if that makes any sense. Whew. And Kiki lived very, very well. Her constant is right up there. <laughs> uh, da -da. I don't believe that our creator wouldn't have put these beautiful animals in your path. This is nobody's fault and will never understand why he chose to do these things. He does one day when we send, perhaps we will, but you certainly deserve any good. I think I get what you're saying. Thank you, East Coast Rabbit. Who's Kiki? Kiki is our puppy. Hippie. Listen, Mel, just as you are worthy of love, you are worthy of dogs. Thank you, Lane. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate your love so much. My daughter was worried about Mel's brother. She said she hoped he didn't feel guilty because it was only a horrible accident. I hope he doesn't feel guilty either. I think some guilt is inevitable. I hope that he grows from this experience, if anything. And I, I don't know if that is insensitive to say, but that's what I believe. I think there is a lot of growth for him to do. You know, watching him cry and being able to share that hug with him and being able to feel into something so tragic. It showed me that he is, you know, very capable of love as well, even though he doesn't choose to show it. And it, in that way, it was something that actually made me happy. It brought joy to my heart. Yes, uh, it's a phrase we as parents and pet owners say a million times. <laughs> What's up, man? I'm doing fine. How are you, Te? She is our mascot. <laughs> All my love to Haywire fam. Haywire Hill fam. Love you to pieces. Thank you, my friend. Love to you also, animal. Melts a dog. He died yesterday in an accident. Thank you, my friend, for saying that as well. Letting our friend know. I'm so far behind. I'm like 32 minutes behind. <laughs> Getting there. Two unworthy dog owners had my pup before us. She had never heard good girl before our walks. <laughs> you are truly a human that can make a dog feel loved. Coming from someone who has to teach their dog that it is loved. Thank you. When it rains, I really appreciate that as well, friend. Just be here now. <sighs> I'm trying, Melita. I'm trying. Ooh. I understand the feeling of blame and the feeling of irresponsible. Even when looking back, we did all we could. Did all we could, Aunt B. It's, it's just, you know, this part of ourselves <clears throat> that wants to take some sort of responsibility, wants to be like, okay, you know, the only way for me to stop this from ever happening is to stop from ever having this as a potential of something happening. And then as a means to justify that, our mind tells us, oh yeah, we're irresponsible, we don't deserve these things, we this, we that. It's not helpful. We deserve love. Oh, Lane, <laughs> on B. We deserve love. I can't uh, agree more the power of now. Love, Mel. Thank you, Red. Love to you as well, my friend. Remember when she was carrying around that giant dead bird? Such a gross little girl. She, like, ate, a, a, like, a significant chunk of that stinky dead bird. And she just, like, absolutely reeked. Oh, oh she stank. And then we gave her, like, two bathes. And then she was better. Where are you from? I'm from South Africa, antisocial. <laughs> So that is right. Smoking a doobie in the park. 
beautiful day. Uh, you got it, man. You're free. Thank you, dangerous cow. We're only as free as our minds allows us to be. <sighs> My mind is really trying to keep me in a box now. <laughs> Thank you. We are free. We are free, my friend. You're right. Thank you for reminding me. My family just got the honor of meeting Melt on a vids chat the other day. And they're all as devastated for Sweet Kiki as we are. But also sending so much love. Thank you, Kira. Thank you so much. Uh, I can remember when she had a little shag that one time. Uh, my sister would like to dress her up. We bought her a little band, a little neck band that was too big for her. She was still supposed to grow into it. She was such a blessed little soul. Is present now. Is a blessed little soul. Continues all the way up and all the way down. Wow, Seth Rogen, what's up? Oh, Bay, you're getting me on a bad day, dude. Usually I would be good sport. I'm just gonna ignore that one, <laughs> unfortunately. I love you still. I'm just gonna ignore it. I, I enjoyed watching her dance with you the other night when she kept going between your legs. She was so cute. And she'll always be cute. She'll always be cute. She was, that was such a, a beautiful moment as well. She was just like, what? What's happening? You're excited? Why are we excited? <laughs> mm. Love you as well, Angela. Thank you, my friend. Ah, oh, nice haul. Kiki, you remember always. <laughs> Between the mouse and Kiki, they put lots of natural ventilation in your clothes. Dan, hey, Mel. All my positive energy to you. I'm sorry for your loss. It's okay, Dan. Thank you, my friend. It's okay. Heather, hello, Mel. <sighs> Let the tears fall when they may, and allow us to hold you up when you fall. You are loved. It's not weak to show emotion. It is brave, courageous, and loving. Thank you, my friend. We're showing emotion, definitely. It is coming in waves. It's gonna continue coming in waves. Silver lining, <laughs> always a silver lining, my friend. Indeed, this is one thing that I, that uh, I hard disagree with the Christians on. I think that the souls of animals are obvious once you get to know one. Oh yes. Especially if you try to get one get to know one genuinely. If it becomes something that you pursue, it's a realization. Man. The eye perspective. It's you <laughs> in the animal as well. Everything as souls I am. Hello to you as well. Abroad. Thank you for joining us. Oh goodness, he's smooth <laughs> than a great olive oil. Thank you though. No, I appreciate that. That's that's funny. The fear of loss is a path to the dark side. Rejoice for those around who transform into the forest. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Yeah, the fear of loss is a path to the dark side. You're right, dude. We can't be scared of that. We can't be scared of anything. I'm scared. I feel like he's the protagonist. And I'm about to rush him for a quick random battle. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> use this block, please. No, use this block again. Stop it, use this block. No, I'm dude. I'm um, I'm not I'm not on my strongest legs right now. You're like, oh he's telling me he's damaged. Goes in for another attack. No, please. Not right now. <laughs> You've got this dude. You're strong as fuck. Oh, thank you, Toasty. I love you friends. <laughs> <laughs> he says guardian in my head cannon now. Uh, your friends are just like flattering me now. Like, thank you. I genuinely appreciate your love so much. K8! Hey, Amelt. I thought you cut your hair. You just must have pulled it back yesterday. How are you, my friend? 
I am fine. I'm not good. I'm not good. I'm not bad. I've been better. But I'm here. I think that is that's how I am, friend. How about you? How are you doing, K? It's been a while, friend. Ugh, when we lost my aunt, we gained my baby, nephew. It was a very strange time of loss and gain, ache and love. It is so hard to deal with as well sometimes, Kira. It can be a very weird contrast. It can create feelings of guilt inside of yourself for some reason as well. Question. You said the dog's death was an accident, but that the death was your brother's fault. How can both things be true? My brother backed the car out of the driveway and drove over the dog. He was the one driving the car. It was an accident that she happened to find herself under the car. That's how both of those things can be true, my friend. Like, if you, like, point a gun in a direction and you fire it and there happened to be someone with a, you know, invisibility screen standing right in front of you. <laughs> Instance. You thought you were just gonna shoot it into blank space and then you shoot this person and then you see this person fall and bleed out after you pull the trigger. It's gonna feel like your fault even though it was an accident. Both of those things can be true. I guess that's what I've said. Better writing than Hollywood. Oh goodness, my friend. Life is stranger than fiction at the end of the day. This is human nutshell in a nature. We love to find cause and effect, and we feel safe when there are answers to all. We try to put everything into folders, neatly character categorized. We do try to do that. I try to do that especially. You're so right, my friend. It's one of the one of the curses of being human, I guess. Blame, fault, guilt, whose is it, why? Yeah. None of those questions, you know. None of those questions answer satisfy. That's the thing as well. And the contrast why. Mm -hmm. No one plans to accidentally back over a sweet pet. Uh, let's not get overly semantic today. No, it's okay, my friend. It's okay. I, I enjoyed the analogy of the gun shooting. Uh, it felt very absurd. I was just imagining a person standing right here all the time with an invisibility suit. <laughs> no, I'm like, please, I'm not crazy just yet. <laughs> not just yet. Uh, why did this happen? Why did this have to happen? If it was one. That's the question that I've been asking myself, especially, like more so than any, any of the other ones. Sometimes there are no answers. Kiki died, and Mel's brother happened to drive the car that killed her. No blame, no fault. That's true. Lord of the Rings would have been so much sharper if he was Frodo's best. <laughs> Though, like, you, you are really, like, you know, strumming the, the guitar strings. Thank you. I, I appreciate your love. Especially since it's flavorful. You know, it's not just something basic. Yeah, I appreciate it. it. It's beautiful. Thank you, friend. Mel, uh, my toddler, has spent the past few months trying to say hi to you through the streams with a smile of pure happiness. There is... Fear and good energy being directed at you from all sources. Beaming some good vibes to your toddler as well. Thank you so much when it rains. Only in love. This is beautiful. Yes, it is. Hey, Finn Bax. Thank you for being here, my friend. It's nice to see you again. <clears throat> I bonded to a Jack Russell with wonky eyes at work this morning. <sighs> Did the or she with wonky eyes. Oh, did he or she have any, like, kicky vibes to him as well? Uh, sorry, friend. Not ignoring you, just listening very intently. Thank you so much, Mammy. Hi, Gobby. And hey, Gob, thank you for joining us, my friend. It's nice to have you here. Uh, are the best <laughs> setting love, my friend. I hope you can grieve and forgive yourself. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. I am.
think I the, the only way for me to do that as well is to take the observer larger multi-dimensional type of perspective to imagine her soul you know transcending literally she continues on <clears throat> French bulldogs too they get uh, paranoid panoramic vision <laughs> oh goodness uh, French bulldogs too they get panoramic vision just like maybe like 270 maybe like 290 degree vision <laughs> oh goodness it would be kind of weird it makes me think of that Rick and Morty episode where they uh, have to be in turkeys and they have you know the, the the weird vision and it messes with them very interesting yeah I like that thank you Thursday. domain expansion internet air pipe probably yes though yes damn it there is no wonky eye emoji to insert here <clears throat> just imagine it okay uh, <laughs> melt more into mush melt more into mush oh i like that one here i like the you golden fly uh and that's why i take issue with using the word fault it seems too harsh for an accident i think so as well like what what the, the what you're supposed to say um responsible instead of fault i'm responsible for the death i'm it's my fault maybe responsible has a, an air of responsibility to it <laughs> if anything uh katie hey everyone i just got out of my therapy session it was rough but good things were said and i needed reminders i'm so happy to hear that katie that sounds beautiful my friend like having a, a good therapy session can give you some hope you know, you can continue onwards go back again please learn more expel more grow more melt away more of the bad stuff melt a part of yourself more of the good stuff her eyes were basically on the side of her head oh that's hilarious um god we missed you we always miss you my friend the gigi pass i'm so sorry she did unfortunately, Katie. Thank you, my friend. I understand grief. Much love, Pot. Thank you, my friend. Much love to you as well. Thank you for the wholesome whiskey. I appreciate that. It happens during the stream yesterday. After you led for your double shift. I'm almost glad you weren't here, Katie. Yeah, maybe that's for the best. What happened? My brother unfortunately for unfortunately backed over her. Katie. People liven with the, what people live in their own prison there we go that's true though very much so and i'm here after stream if you need or want anything thank you kira i think for now i'm going to need some time alone like i'm trying to spend some time alone like that's the only way for me to process fast enough uh it's quality of life over length of life kiki was all quality so right, Jader. Perfectly put. I'll message you. I'll message you too. Okay, please do. Thank you. Epic monologue, dude. Thank you, though. Like, let's let's hook me up with Marvel or something. I'm um, actually, actually, do I want to share this? It might not be anything, but I did actually apply for a job today, a voiceovering job. I did. I was like, you know what? I'm in so much pain. This is something that isn't going to hurt me more, uh, and it was for uh, for a like a YouTube channel called Eurobot. Goodness, it's going to be for like five minute animated clips. I have to be able to do five different male voices and two potential female voices, and I've been practicing. <laughs> we'll have to see how that turns out. If it turns out, like I. Sharing it only because I'm potentially excited about it, not because it's going to be a thing. But who's, who knows? We'll see. Freaking wind is kicking my ass now. Goodness. It's too permeable.
goodness, the wind is just not gonna let me, huh? Success. Come on, clearly you're watching an IRL Easter egg. Yep, this is the best acting in the world. I'm just lurking, but spending my whole life just training for this moment. Watching a great friend right now. Feels learning, man. I'm in this with you right now. Love you as well, my friend. I hope your day is going well. Mm. Ebony Star, it's nice to have you here, my friend. Thank you for joining us. I over what is over was. Awesome. Thank you for the helpful, Matthias. Hold up right now. Though you're confusing me a little bit. Why the dog done, though? <laughs> that moment when Melt stood up and that nugget they kicky stole was under him. Definitely my favorite. <laughs> Kira, Heat Ledger too. Yes, friend. <clears throat> uh, and she ran away with the joint. Yeah, she did that as well, actually. One of mine as well. Uh, we all wanted to run after her, and I think oh, I did. I did. Ebony. Bingo is behind me. A wild bingo appeared and disappeared. Ebony. How are you doing? Recovering, okay? My man, 260 days in. Same clothing. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, supermarket. We're probably going to go for like... 1,200 days, maybe in the same clothing. Unless we start wearing, wearing, you know, clothing that I made myself. Then I'll start wearing something else. But otherwise, I'm going to continue wearing the same clothes, dude. <sighs> Buying new clothing when I don't need new clothing is just going to be wasteful. So we're gonna continue for as long as we can until it falls off of my body, dude. Melt, hey vegan, love to you, my friend. He's so late, it's adorable. I'm like 11 minutes late right now, dude. Relax. I'm not so late, dude. Like if you were here when you when I was like 33 minutes behind, then I would have accepted your as cute as late. But now like only 11 minutes. Behind. <laughs> Trap card. I hope he can get it down to our comments before he ends. I'm gonna try to, Matthias. I don't blame him for ending soon. Me and I are completely understandable. I, I was thinking I'm going to only stream for like a half an hour. That was my initial intention. I'm happy that I didn't say it out loud because that wasn't what was necessary. I'm very happy to be here with you friends. The, <laughs> the energy you've been sharing with me has been very healing, thank you. My mom accidentally ran over a uh, vet, our deaf and blind dog, that wandered out and it was terrible. She felt guilty for years. It is devastating, Katie, because it is a mistake. It is a, an accident. And yet it feels like one of those that you can't forgive yourself for. And it happens to people with their actual children. I'm so happy we have, you know, rear-facing cameras and stuff now. And going into the future, self-driving cars, these things won't happen anymore. Because we'll literally have intelligent machines making sure these things don't happen. It's going to reduce human suffering. All the women always rush in when we think someone is mean in the comment like, No, 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 behave. You watch it, you naughty. You. <laughs> I've been there. It's something that stays with you. What is fault? Yeah. Fault is... Uh, assignment or a judgment of yourself probably a judgment of the situation you're creating some sort of weight set and then you judge based on where the person falls on that weight set Joe Bot's in love he, feel free to message me as well it's okay thank you Katie I appreciate you reaching out and like extending a hand it's okay thank you my friend Katie does zero Hello darling, hello gloomy sunshine. Accidents happen. She was a great dog. She still is. Her soul continues, my friend. Maybe not as a dog, 
but still as this old as she was. I've read uh, in one of my philosophy classes, there is no fault, only intention. You see, so an intention, in my opinion, can be seen as a weight set as well. So I agree completely, Heather. That's beautiful. Thank you, my friend. Loving you, Katie. Thank you. It's okay. I'm doing all right. Thank you. Just staying around. I'm going through a loss too, Estia. And my girlfriend and I broke up after being together for almost four years. Would have been four in November. But I know our situations are completely different. But I know you're what you're going through. I'm here if you need. Love to you, Matthias. Love to you, man. I'm so sorry for your loss as well. <sighs> loss, <clears throat> loss is loss. I think universally, but it is also universally an illusion. Because even though this relationship of yours has ended, this thing that all also had this birth, this growing up period and then this death and you breaking up it isn't something that is lost you have only gained something you've gained so much experience you've gained so much wisdom and how to be in a relationship what you want in a relationship what you value how to communicate in a relationship and going on you're going to be even more equipped my friend as will I be with being able to deal with loss as well. This is how we grow. I'm here with you, my friend. Melt <clears throat> the layers of yourself and find... Melt the layers of yourself and find your true being. That's the one. <laughs> That's the one, Ninja. That's what we can do. I grew up on the farmland. An animal death was a big part of the cycle. As soon as the animal passed, we would honor the time spent with us and try to move on slowly. It was harder when they were young, for sure. It's especially hard when they're young. Whoop! If they're old, there's a, a sense of expectation that comes with it. And we use communication in a way to try and tell you what you should expect. So when something young dies, it's not something we expect. So it's hard for us to communicate about it. It's hard for us to communicate it to ourselves as well. Is anyone, is everyone who are quiet here feeling relatively all right? Is anyone having a really hard day, moment, etc.? Please let us know how we can help. We're here for you, friends. Please do reach out to any one of us friends here talking. Any of us would be more than willing to lovingly receive you. I am also going through a three-year breakup right now. I'm here for you, friend. There you go. Maybe you can be breakup buddies for a bit, Katie. If I would be so coy as to suggest that. He's just like, oh, hey, Matthias. Spill the guts to me. If you spill guts in your both breakup gut spilling. Maybe there can be some healing found in that as well. I made it to work. I don't know why the stream dropped on my at home and why Reddit was being a jerk about loading anything after that, but I'm glad I got back here again today. Thank you for being here with us again for a little bit, Naomi. I hope it's going well. I hope the barbershop isn't, or hairdresser shop isn't too cold. I'm thinking like buildings with big like glass windows are usually colder than others. And you live in Canada. I hope it's not too cold. It probably is getting cold again that side. Uh, always love you. You're a blessing here. So much of a blessing. Do uh, Eric Bana. Bana? I don't know what an Eric Bana is, unfortunately, friend. Otherwise, I would try to attempt it. My comments are wonky. Time to refresh. Do try to, my friend. Mm. I hope it helps. In this one. Even if it didn't pan out, seeing your eyes light up. I just now <laughs> talking about it was hard for me thing to witness. Love to you, Kira. Thank you for helping in the space, co-creating with me. I feel like an observer today. Listen more than I talk, which is unusual for me. I like to say my piece, but today the mood is reflective. It feels very much like that for me as well, Mammy. Thank you, my friend, for everything that you did say, nonetheless. Gloomy, my parents raised 
a pig for cooperate for a cooperative. I named him Wilbur. When I was 12, I woke up to a guy in a white truck killing the pig. I still don't eat pork. Goodness. Why did, why did they, they why, why in front of you? Like, that's a little bit much. Why on the property? Why, why not take, I was like, I was gonna try and rationalize that. Beautiful melt. I'm sure everyone will benefit if you get the job. So happy for you. And you went with that right now. Thank you, my friend. Like I, I'm not expecting too much. It's literally just uh, like if I put this out into the universe, then there's the potential of getting something back from it. If I don't put it out into the universe, then there's the guarantee of getting nothing out of it. So something has been put out. If something returns from it, then so shall it be. If not, then so shall it be. Bingo. Candace, uh, if you're still here, let me know if anything comes in the mail. Tree power? Tree powers? Yes, tree powers, my friend. I gotta go for a bit. I'm also gonna go soon, Katie. Don't worry, my friend. We'll see you again tomorrow. Sending back love and calm. I'm glad you had a better way to accept animal death. My parents tried to comfort me and say the meat was going to a lot of people, but nope, the circle of life stuff just pushed me into not eating any meat for seven years. Hmm. Did you stop because of health reasons, my friend? Like, I, I can't blame you at all. Like, man, that's a little bit... Like, I, I had to see stuff like that as well. Like, for me, hunting was something that was cultural and still is. So my, my, my dad took me hunting when I was, like, nine years old. So I, you know, killed my first animal when I was nine. And, you know, I had to have blood smeared on me. And I had to be the one to cut the throat of the animal. There was... It's all of these rituals attached to it as to what we're supposed to do and what it's what it means to be initiated into what like a, a man is in South Africa. Yeah. That and <laughs> the cycle of life thing has always been so odd. Especially if you extrapolate the the viewfinder, if you will, even larger. To like looking down on the entire planet as this self-sustained, self-generating, self-eating organism. It just is a ceaseless creation of life and love. Love to you. I like to imagine Bingo is like an old veteran pirate. Uh, two eye patches, no teeth left. A peg leg telling all more stories to the little creatures around the farm that will listen. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, and, he, and if nobody listens, he just kind of stands still and tells the story. It's just in through like space. It's just like you're back my day. And he actually is like kind of like that. He, he killed a bunch of very venomous snakes. He was just an absolute trooper back in my day. I was killing these snakes. You won't believe how many snakes I done killed <laughs> yeah it makes me happy yeah yeah I like that thank you that's beautiful just like I'm imagining some of the animals getting sick of the stories because they've heard them before at this point and they're just like oh fuck bingo is coming again hide hide and then bingo like walks around the corner and there's like one bird that happens to be sitting <laughs> Picking some, you know, berries or something. Like, oh damn it, Bingo spotted me. And he's like, hey, you little bird, can I tell you a story? You young. <laughs> and then the bird is like, I'm like 80 in my years, old man. <laughs> I'm not young. <laughs> okay, I'm getting too deep into this. Mm. Oh, matey, it's ironic you say this. I also eat very little meat. I find myself taking meat out of tacos or completely avoiding some dishes. I know what the animals went through to put that upon my plate. It can be very, very devastating as well, you know, especially industrial farming. <sighs> that is something we have to, you know, fix first. And looking at <clears throat> where things are going right now, the ways to fix them is going to be supplementation with insect protein, a good way to do it. And then lab-grown meats, that's going to be the alternatives. 
can reduce a lot of suffering that way. Sounds kind of like the oldest buck I've ever seen, looking like a Civil War general with one antler off, uh, healed over gunshot wound in his face, and the longest scraggly beard ever. Nature is a ride. Ooh, that dude, you know, is a hardcore. Like, he's been experiencing the most badass area of lifestyles. <laughs> Yar. Have I told you, little grasshopper, the time I took out a two-headed flying cobra? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm guessing that is another reference. So I feel like I have usually these things which just go right over my head. Now I have like a little mitten that knows when they go over my head. It's because it's the, the reference mitten. It's like, no, nope, don't worry. It's just a reference. You, you got this. I'm curious to look up studies now about people's diets regarding meat and who they were around and animal deaths, or if, if they were around animal deaths. The only meat I eat now is chicken and few fish. So the only reason I believe that data is going to be skewed is because a lot of the people that work in, you know, um, the industries, like farmers, if you will, uh, that is going to reduce animal products, usually eat animal products. So I think maybe the data would be off because of that, if anything. Or, or non-indicative. <laughs> Loss is a part of our soul training. It is, Josh. You're right, my friend. It is the hardest of obstacles to overcome, but it definitely is. There has to be a direct correlation for sure. It is good to spend time alone with this grief, Estian. I believe there is much to learn and grow from. While we sit alone with these feelings and thoughts, we'll be here in a blanket fort waiting for you when you need your family to hear you. Thank you, my friend. You friends are always here. <laughs> this continued blanket fort that we get to show up in. Thank you. Like, you are. You are here for me, my friends. I am sharing with you right now. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. Like I cannot, I cannot thank you enough. I'll just say thank you a million times if I if I needed to, if it was going to actually convey how grateful I am. Here in Dublin, uh, four thirty six p.m. Here in Dublin, I shall hop off here, but you are in my thoughts, Mel. Thank you for sharing all your emotions with us. Always hope you get plenty of rest over the weekend. Take care. Thank you, Mammy. Have a good one, my friend. Kiki was the co-creator of co-creators. All my love to you and your brother Mel. Love to you as well, Thada. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate your love. We don't truly ever lose anything. <sighs> we have given it back to the source. The memories are ours to keep. And that, too, we will eventually give back later. And that's also okay. Take care, everyone. See you as well. Mammy, thank you, my friend, for sharing this space. <clears throat> the weather in Canada has been some kind of messed up this year. Not looking forward to winter. Sending you warm vibes, cozy vibes, nonetheless, ninja banana. I hope it stays somewhat tolerable. <sighs> Hopefully, my friend. Kira keeps the faith and the good vibes going. Hug to your baby from me. From me as well, Kira. Send them so many hugs, just like give them all 10 hugs each. Like, there's a lot of people that sent hugs, I'm sorry. Obligatory 10 hugs in a row. <laughs> Same to you, dear, remember, if you need us, we're only a message away. All of us are only a message away. We have person-to-person -person communication instead of person-to-network communication. We can actually directly talk to one another as well. It's the new age. You have a beautiful accent. Why, thank you, the silent bookworm. That's beautiful for you to say, my friend. Hopefully other people think so as well. <laughs> might, might help in talking, you know, and stuffs. Uh, and I appreciate that. Thank you for joining us. I stopped eating meat because of how the pig died. I'll spare the details. But it was gruesome in my 12 year old eyes and the poor soul screamed until the end. My parents thought I was asleep because the butcher came in the early hours. But why do it on the property? No, 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 please. <laughs> Put the pig in the truck.
take the pig somewhere else where there aren't any 12 year old sleeping little girls. <laughs> like, goodness, parents, goodness, ah, come on parents, like I, I always ask myself, am I gonna be a good parent? Yeah, I have maybe better than, you know, my parents because of what I've learned. I hope I don't make too many mistakes. I'll try and keep myself as aware as possible all the way as we go. <laughs> go Mel, go. Great story. Love to you. Thank you, East Coast. It's legal to kill snakes in South Africa. Is it... Is it legal to kill snakes in South Africa? Is it legal elsewhere? It is legal to kill snakes in South Africa. We have a lot of very venomous snakes here in South Africa, unfortunately vegan. The sequels will echo in your ears. I always run away as soon as it started. The squeals of the squeals, yeah. Bushmeat. I'm sorry you had to hear it multiple times, dear. So sorry you went through that. I'm also sorry. Ten years ago, my neighbor accidentally ran over his toddler. He still is not well. I can't imagine. Like, that's, that's exactly what I'm thinking about as well, ever. Like... Running over Kiki must be absolutely devastating to Vessel. Running over your own child. Like, and the way that I felt, the pain that I felt, like, I... I don't know if I want to share this, but I became convinced that I would not want to continue living if that was the case, if that was something that had to happen in my life. And it was terrifying. I was like, oh... We have identified that fear and have assigned it to illusion, though. And this is not the way we can continue onwards. A friend from high school's wife ran over their three-year-old some years back. Those poor parents. I cannot even begin to fathom. I know it must be devastating. No reference. Just my brain writing an entire fan fiction of the fantastical adventures of Bingo the Pirate Popper. <laughs> <laughs> the Popper Pirate, sorry. Oh, man. I want to see what he's up to right now. I want to see if he's up to some shenanigans for me to pull, pull resources from it. <laughs> I'm sorry, East Coast Rabbit. <sighs> We're trying to inspire as much love as we possibly can, regardless of the amount of pain we are feeling. Please write and illustrate. <laughs> Yay! 50 hugs. 50 hugs to you, Kira. Thank you so much, my friend. Um, they had a lot of property, so there was no reason for them to think any of us kids would wander out there. Ooh. Yeah, that's true. That's got some awful silence of the lambs vibes. I'm so sorry to hear me. Oh, brother, that is rough. That is... Like, fortunately... These are not things that happen every single... Well, I, I don't even know if I can say that. Can, can I say it doesn't happen every single day? These things happen. These things do happen. But these things aren't the norm. I think that we can say, you know, safely. Knowing that the majority is still love. The majority is still love. You in Africa? E. I'm an Africa friend. Thank you for the hugs, feeling all the love. I have a light question for you, Melt. Have you ever seen a baboon viper in the wild? Uh, I've come across tons of venomous snakes in the wild, but in my opinion, I think that a baboon viper are the scariest. I have not seen a baboon viper. I have seen black mambas, though. Like, the black mambas, oh, the way they look at you, they, they very much have this conniving sense. They'll come for you as well. So, but I haven't seen a baboon viper. I don't even know if we have baboon vipers here in South Africa. Maybe we do. Probably we do. But not here. Not here on the farm, at least. Feeling all the love. Sending you so much love, Matthias. Thank you for the love that you shared as well, my friend. Looking back, it kind of does sound like that. Thank you for the hugs. Infamous one. Thank you for spending time with us through this Mr. Mel. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate you so much. Genuinely, you friends made this. <sighs> like I, when I was thinking about today's stream, 
I thought I'm either going to be a continual sobbing mess or I'm going to be in complete silence. And that was the only possibility I saw for today's stream. And you friends helped me co-create, helped me share in a way that I feel more secure in what I know and what I understand and my acceptance of it as well. And I appreciate that so much. Love is true. I have an abundance of love that I'm sharing with all of you. You all have an abundance of love shared with the world. Thank you, Yair, for reminding us. Sharing mine with you as well, my friend. The fact that you worry about being a good enough parent shows that you're going to be a good parent. My wife and I are expecting our first, and I was cracking my pants at first. But now I can't wait to meet my child. Oh, Ninja, that's beautiful, my friend. I can't... Like, I, I was going to say, I can't wait to meet your child either, but that might sound kind of sus. Uh, I'm happy for you, friend. If you would be willing to, you know, share the birth of your child with us, share your baby pictures, I would love to see them. Congratulations, my friend. I believe in the same way you're going to be a good parent as well. You can recognize. Congratulations, indeed. Uh, there are hundreds of thousands of lives that are killed every minute. Love may be very strong, but there is a lot of evil to vanquish. Very much so, vegan. You're right. Who is Kiki? Kiki is the puppy that we lost, my friend. So proud of you and grateful you're here, Estian. We love you. I love you, Kira. I love all of you, friends. Sending tons of love to anyone who needs it. If anyone needs someone to talk to, feel free to message me. Feel free to message any of us, friends. You are loved, loving, and lovable always and forever. I'll see you again tomorrow, everyone. Goodbye.